crunchy peanuts, creamy ice cream, hot fudge. In the last few videos, we visited Collingwood, Kirkland Lake, and even made it up to Du Parquet, Quebec. But now we're back in Ontario in the growing town of Alliston to eat Dairy Queen hot eats and cool treats for 24 hours. We'll have lunch, snacks, dinner, and even more snacks. Head out on a bike tour of Alliston and stealth camp in the DQ parking lot. If this stealth camping food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. Well, there it is. Next 24 hours, I'm going to be eating nothing but Dairy Queen. Hey guys, how you doing on this fine, sunny day here in Alliston, Ontario, Canada? Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I just didn't know what location I wanted to do it at and I thought this would be the best location because it's um, the probably the most newest location uh, and I've got all these coupons that Carol grabbed out of the mail but I don't know which one I want to do first I think I was gonna I think I'll do this chicken sandwich combo meal let's get that out of the way it's coupon crazy Ken day and you guys can come along with me Hi, uh, I have a coupon for the uh, $7.99 chicken sandwich combo. Okay, would you like five or don't you like fries to put We'll do uh, the fries and the crispy chicken, please. And what would you like to drink? Pepsi's great, thank you. Perfect, that's everything. That's it, thanks. All right. Wow, this is going to be all oh, the new Flamethrower Signature Stack Burgers. Look like there's three treats to go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Lose my mind. Hi there, how oh, are you? All right, how you doing? So we got three minutes to wait, guys. Just three minutes. Oh, great, thank you. Great, thank you. No worries, have a good one. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Get up the napkin. We have a full 24 hours ahead of us, people, and I cannot wait to get started on this. We got our Pepsi. We got our fries. Oh, look at this little basket of fries. Very neat. We've got this crispy chicken sandwich. We've got napkins. He asked me if I wanted any of the condiments, and I said, no, thank you. Don't need them right now. These napkins might come in handy. Uh, let's set this up. Go in for a close up. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of our very first out of 24 hours meals here at Dairy Queen and Allison. We've got our medium Pepsi, our golden French fries, and our crispy chicken sandwich. Look at that lid, nice and shiny. Do the fresh test. Lift that up. we got chunks of lettuce, tomato, one tomato on the bottom. I'm hoping there's some type of a sauce on here. I haven't ordered a chicken sandwich from these guys in a long time. Zero sauce, toasted bun. I gotta check that again, maybe I missed it. Yeah, okay, sorry. We've got some mayo, it looks like. Oh my goodness, are you guys hungry? This is gonna be epic. First up, some fries. Oh yeah. Mmm. Dairy Queen does a good fry. I think their onion rings are better though. If you had to choose. But we'll be doing those later on for sure. I know I'm doing a pop first, but what's your favorite blizzard? I think mine's the uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh yeah, here we go. I can't remember the last time I did a chicken sandwich here. Mm -hmm. Whoa. A nicely breaded, seasoned piece of chicken. Very hot. The bun's pretty fresh. It's nice digging into that crispy lettuce and tomato. Woo! The chicken's tender, juicy. Probably uh, deep fried. 
from frozen. If you uh, work at Dairy Queen, let me know if the chicken sandwiches are frozen solid or are they just refrigerated cold and then deep fried or nuked. I don't know. Can't believe how many times, and you guys could probably count, how many times I've bitten into something that's way too hot. <laughs> it's better than like lukewarm or cold. So I'm not complaining about it being hot. But I can't fake burning my mouth. So when you see me react to something hot, it's hot. Ooh. We picked a perfect day. I really, I originally wanted to do this in um, like January or February in the middle of a blizzard. And I think I was gonna title it, Eating a Blizzard in a Blizzard at Dairy Queen. No blizzards came by. I'll see what I can do for you this winter. The fries are excellent. And so is the sandwich. I'm gonna pause the rest of this off. And then we're gonna go through again and get these two desserts. Why not? We're at Dairy Queen. It's time for dessert. I, I don't recall the last time I ever ordered a banana split. So today's the day. I'm glad uh, these coupons came through. It's from bringing back some memories and bringing back some ideas. Uh, I was the first one through and that took like, I don't know, five, six minutes because they had to cook the chicken. So I'm worried now that there's four, five cars ahead of me in the lineup and then it's gonna be a while before we get our Sunday. I should have joked, just walked in. Yeah, let's walk in. Yeah. Want to make butter one uh, bananas? Yeah. Okay. That's everything. Yes. It's gonna be 10.95. Okay. Uh, That looks good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sam, it looks good. Yeah. Ooh, peanut butter parfait. Woohoo! We are back in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, when she asked me for a second spoon, I said no. She was like, Really? You're going to eat all that food? Yep. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. I love the fact that the bowl is in the shape of the Dairy Queen lips. Over here, we've got that peanut buster parfait. For many years, I would order this without the peanuts because it just tastes so much better with just the creamy ice cream and the hot fudge, not being interrupted by having to chew a peanut right in the middle of it. But uh, I don't mind them now. And over here, we've got our Banana split, like I said, I haven't ordered a banana split in decades. Over here, it looks like we got that hot fudge, nice whipped cream, of course, those tasty bananas. We got some strawberry sauce, and of course, the ice cream underneath. And it looks like, I think that's pineapple, um, let's call it jam, or a topping would be the right word, I guess. All right, are you guys ready? Let's do this. I haven't ordered a peanut butter parfait in a very, very long time. Mmm. Crunchy peanuts. Creamy ice cream. Hot fudge. Yeah. Mmm. I love their hot fudge. Just fantastic. It's layered with nuts. Hot fudge, ice cream, nuts, hot fudge, ice cream, and so on and so forth. That is so good. I'm going to have to like plan this out a little better because there's so much food on this menu. And I really want to try as much as we can. Thanks to you guys for watching. Making it possible to continue doing these series because you guys watch, you guys comment, you guys like, 
You guys share. Sharing is amazing. Oh, look at this one. Oh. Let's go for that that middle there. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the pineapple. Carol had an uncle who loved pineapple milkshakes. Again, let us know in the comments below what's your favorite milkshake. And have you ever tried a pineapple milkshake? Hmm. It's really nice going from the hot fudge to the strawberry to the pineapple and this repeat going back and forth. It's not like it's all the same sweetness all the way through. Mm. And the whipped cream is dynamite. Oh, got a little piece of uh, pineapple in that bite. And then we're gonna dip back over here. Mmm, it's very hot here today, September. Ice cream is melting fast. This is gonna turn into a milkshake in no time. Back to the Sunday. Parfait. Sunday. Repeat. I think this is going to be a great spot <clears throat> to stealth camp tonight. It's kind of away from the road. It's not in anybody's way here. Uh, this place closes at 10 o'clock at night. But again, I think this is going to be a perfect spot here or there. Maybe even there will be a little bit more hidden. Yeah, that's going to be my stealth spot tonight. That's probably one of the employees' cars. But uh, a couple of pieces of garbage. Let's pick that up. That's not cool. McDonald's? What are you doing here? Gotta clean up, help out. Tim Hortons, everybody eats here. Got everything that I need for my stealth camp tonight. Got the sleeping bag, but I don't think I'm gonna need the sleeping bag uh, tonight. It's gonna be, I think, pretty warm. Yeah, we're going to be going for a bike ride a little bit later. I just want to relax for a bit. Maybe do some editing. Got the Jackery all set up for uh, keeping my all my electronics all powered up. Oh, yeah. Nothing like relaxing after a huge meal like that. Time to go for a bike ride. Uh, I moved my car over to the Cesare's parking lot because they got all these trees and shade and I want my car to be in the shade until I get back and then we'll do a, a snack but uh, we need to go for a bike ride.
very nifty old train tracks to put here as a display and a caboose who remembers cabooses I can't even remember what year it's like I think it was in the 80s they stopped using cabooses at the end of a train it's really nice that they've preserved one here so we can always remember you could turn that into a little cottage neat here's the entrance to the Honda plant let me know in the comments below how many people that watch this video work at the Honda plant have worked at the Honda plant or if you've ever worked at a Honda plant anywhere else in the world that'd be cool to know look at all these employees shifts over all leaving there's a Mercedes a couple Hondas GMC pretty sure Honda is the largest employer of all the people from Alliston a lot of people here waiting on the right for their significant other to come out from their shift and there's the this is as close as I've been to the Honda plant very cool that's about 500 meters of cars trying to get out of here luckily they have this bike lane I forgot to tell you that Alliston is almost at 19,000 population and like at least half of it, half the population works at the Honda plant. That guy almost hit me. That was close. Made it back to Rusty. Hey Rusty. Oh, well, that was a good ride. Now it's time to freshen up. It's quarter after four, let's go get a treat. After that bike ride, there's a fly in here. Looks like I got my fly swatter, I've been trying to get him. Lots to choose from after that bike ride, but I think I'm gonna go for this BOGO buy one, get one uh, Misty Slush or Misty Float of equal value. I think I like those too, the way they are, except I'd rather have the ice cream and the blue slush thing. Thank you for your patience, how can I help you today? Uh, I like the blue raspberry with the float and the just the regular slush um, strawberry kiwi, please. And what size? Uh, let's go medium on both. Medium blue raspberry float and a medium strawberry flush. 902 at the window for you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. You too. Check out my cool treats after that bike ride over here. We got our strawberry kiwi all glistening and cold. And that'll be the blue raspberry. Oh yeah, look at that. Who wants one? I do. I remember uh, we used to get the uh, ice cream truck going by our house and uh, the kids and I would always get uh, one of these and it was called uh, an iceberg. I think, I'm not sure if it's called a blue iceberg or whatever, but they called it an iceberg, which looks exactly like an iceberg. Let's do this. Oh, <sighs> sour, Woo! it's very sweet very syrupy and very sour mm. I can feel the cavities forming on my teeth as I drink that and I got a brain freeze okay here we go let's go in for the blue raspberry oh why did I do that right after the other one? Oh, that was dumb real dumb Oh. oh my gosh, my eyeballs are going to explode. Oh. Oh. My body's still warm from the bike ride and then you put that in your mouth. Jeez. This is going to be amazing once the ice cream starts to melt and you can start mixing it in. Right now, it looks like the lid is holding it in. Maybe I could try it. I just don't want to make a huge mess. Oh boy, oh yeah. I think I drank just enough. 
to allow for me to open that up. I'm gonna put that over there for a minute while I stir this so I don't knock them all over. I am so looking forward to mixing this together. Look at this. Oh yeah, looks like the crystal. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, oh, I'm having, a, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Look at that, eh? Looks like uh, Walter and Jesse have been cooking again. I really have to get down to Albuquerque one day. Yeah, never get a slush without ice cream in it. I know it costs more money, but it tastes so much better. It's like creamy and look at that. It's so still frozen. I just really want to mix this up. Like, I know this is the fun part, right? This is just the, the fun in Dairy Queen right there. Slowly mixing it together. If I was to get either of these again, I'd get this one. I've got it all nicely mixed up now, and it tastes fantastic. Yup. Got my batteries charging. Now I'm definitely gonna sit back and relax for a while. Take off the shoes. Kick back, recharge. Just getting some editing done. It is 6.07, time to get some food. Nobody in the drive-thru, let's go. I really wanna try this steakhouse stack burger thing. No. Thanks for choosing Dairy Queen, what can I get for you today? The number four combo with the uh, chocolate shake and onion rings. What size for the chocolate shake? Uh, let's go medium, please. Okay, you want to put chopping on the shake? Ah, yes, please. Okay, that's everything. Yes. $24.25. Thank you. $24.25. There was a toss up between the flamethrower. I love the flamethrower, but I had one with Carol when we went out west. So uh, I thought I'd switch it up and try this other triple burger. It looks killer. And of course we had to do onion rings and a chocolate shake. Cause that's the bomb. Thank you. And could I get um, one vinegar and one salt, please? One vinegar and one salt? Yes, sure. thanks. And do you need ketchup as well or no? No, thanks. Can't wait. A thing of beauty. Thank you. All right, guys. I think they're getting a little suspicious. That same guy with the same shirt, he's been here four times now. <laughs> it smells wonderful. Let's get all this stuff. You're gonna really smell those onion rings. Oh, look at that nice little basket. It's like almost everywhere I go, they're like different methods of having them. I don't recall them. And they even remembered what I asked for. They gave me two salts. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, poutine as a snack later on tonight before it gets too dark. Too dark. Once again, going in for the extreme close-up, but this time we're going in for the DQ dinner. Over here we got our chocolate shake with whipped cream. The best, thanks DQ. Over here are golden crunchy onion rings. Our vinegar and salt. The sun came out just for that burger, the loaded steakhouse. Have you guys had a loaded steakhouse? Let's do the fresh test. Oh, that's even fresher than earlier on today. We've got an onion ring. I picked the best time to do onion rings because I'm doubling up here. We've got two onion rings, steak sauce or barbecue sauce. We got bacon, cheese, and then a beef patty more cheese, beef patty, more cheese, beef patty, all on a toasted bun. Let's eat. First up, we have to, I'm gonna close this lid for a second, because I have to do my onion rings first. They all have to go down as quickly as possible. 
before they cool down because onion rings when they're cold taste like grease rings so the only way to do it to avoid the grease rings is to eat them while they're hot oh boy here we go check it out oh my goodness mm. crunchy vinegary and salty delicious Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Those two are stuck together almost in a figure eight. Do you guys have to eat it first? Onion rings, definitely. French fries, I can do, you know, burger, fry, burger, fry. A lot of times, especially at McDonald's, I have to do all the fries first. Um, but other places I can go back and forth. If it's a really big meal and they put lots of fries on it, I'll have a couple fries at the beginning, then eat the good stuff, and then finish the fries off if I can. But onion rings have to be finished off first. That one's nice and thick. Whoa! Woo. Thin small broken huge done oh you can smell that beef patty oh that is huge are we going to be able to bite that people oh my gosh <laughs> look at the size of it Ooh la la it's huge it's a monster it's a monstro- there's three onion rings on there. It's a monstrosity. I think I've never ordered this before. I'm always a flame flower, flame, flame flower kind of guy. I'm trying to say that 10 times fast, flame flower. Oh boy, can we do it people? I might have to squish it a bit. Disconnect the jaw. Oh yeah. I got a little bit of everything in there. Mmm. Kind of sweet, tangy sauce on the top there. I'm guessing because there's mayo and some type of steak sauce. It's not bad. I'm going to sleep well tonight. And there was steak sauce on the bottom. Didn't know that until I lifted that up. It almost has like a an HP sauce flavor. I didn't see that anywhere on the menu, but that's what it tastes like. It's very, very similar. It could be, I don't know. I didn't invent it. It's like eating a huge chunk of meatloaf. Cheesy meatloaf between two breads two buns mm. that is a fantastic burger but i definitely would prefer the flamethrower over this i love spicy sauces and stuff on my burgers but this is definitely uh, i would recommend go check it out Again, first time I ever had it. You don't need to do three patties. I just did that for the picture and to wow you guys with that huge chunk of meat. Ooh la la. I'd recommend one patty or two patties and you'll be totally fine, especially with the onion rings and the chocolate shake. It's too much. But delicious. Big lineup now. We, we nailed it. Perfect timing. There are like six, seven cars in that lineup now. A few more bites and it's gone. Check it out. I'm gonna have to dedicate this last bite to all those men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last bite is just for you, cheer. Mm. Let's finish this off and go watch some Netflix. Back to the dungeon. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, it's nine o'clock, time to use the poutine coupon. Let's go. It's getting a bit cold, time to put on the sweater. Oh, all right, how are you doing? That's everything? That's everything, thanks. Candles and a cake book. Big 60, coming soon. Thank you. Have a good day. Late night snack. Smells delicious. He's like, did you want uh, ketchup, salt, pepper? No, you don't put anything on poutine, people. I know, he's just offering. I'm like, don't put anything on my poutine. <laughs> he's like, I won't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you see that? Does that not look delicious for a late night snack? It sure is. Let's see if we can get a cheese pull off this one. Oh my goodness. A little bit, a little bit. Oh yeah. I've had their uh, poutine several times in the past and they do a half decent job. Look, oh yeah. Another cheese pull. Cheese pull at nine o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. Very stringy. Oh yeah. That's what you're looking for right there. Lots of cheese, lots of gravy. If this doesn't put you to sleep, I don't know what will. Oh my goodness. I just knocked my head. I hate this low ceiling. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, and then hit the hay. Definitely have a couple swigs of water. <laughs> it never ends. Love it. morning truck woke me up this morning <laughs> very pretty sunrise but uh, let's pack this stuff up and then head on over to uh, Starbucks grab a coffee Good morning, can I have a large uh, latte, please? For sure, anything else for you? That's it, thanks. Awesome, it's gonna be 616 at the window. Thank you. 615. Oh, sure. fantastic, that's perfect, thank you. Okay. have a good one. You too. I, I kind of don't want to be in the parking lot, uh, so I'm gonna sit right in the bank parking lot. I don't mind sitting in the bank parking lot. But I don't want to, they probably saw that I was there last night. And I don't want them to see me in the same spot this morning. So, uh, the trick to stealth camping is to not let people know that you're camping. So, when you move your car around a little bit, it's not as suspicious. And when you're buying tons of food from them, I don't think they really care if you stay there overnight. I don't know. I'm gonna kind of sit back here behind these bushes. Pretend I'm doing a steak out. Did somebody say steak? Well, it was really nice to wake up to a nice little sunrise and then to be greeted by a super friendly employee 
at Starbucks and then gift you with this beautiful drink. Adult wake up juice. <laughs> ah, that is a thing of beauty right there. Yeah, I went to bed pretty early and uh but i watched the bills game and the bills kicked tight and butt who's a bills fan cheers allen is phenomenal what a great quarterback cheers to the bills so let me fill you in on a little bit about last night uh that cubby spot was a great spot to sleep in uh it protected me and shielded me from the main road and uh that's that's a pretty busy road uh, so it protected me. I didn't hear any traffic at all. The first thing that woke me up at 4.50, I guess, was the garbage truck. And they have these two specialized bins that I think the garbage truck has a crane on it and it has to lift it up and put it over top and then has to open and do it. But it was, it was a long time. I don't know anything about these new kind of trash can things they have. It's that instead of the bins where they, they go in and they pick up the garbage and they flip it in, it's these big round ones. So that was the first thing that woke me up. And then the second was the uh, food truck, which my alarm went off just after that. So no big, no big deal. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice partly cloudy day and uh, it stopped drizzling which is good and uh, now we're gonna sit back I'm gonna probably um, do some more editing and until DQ opens well it's 11.03 Tuesday September 20th and uh, the first person is dri driven up, beat me to it. I wanted to be the first one in, but oh well, no biggie. It's so nice I had the sunroof open. I need it to be a little bit more shady than that. Hi, I like to do the uh, chicken strip basket four piece, please. All right, would you like to add it in today and make it a combo? Uh, yes, uh, I'm gonna do that um, orange Julius um mango pineapple please all right and what dipping sauce would you like with your strip today uh, we have barbecue buffalo queso or gravy ranch or zesty queso gravy please gravy all right anything else today that's it thanks all right it'll be 18.96 drive on up thank you oh thank you so it's the slushy mix with the oh, slushy. Uh, the orange julius uh, concentrate okay and the okay Perfect, thank you. Great, thank you. Oh, Have have, great you too. Let's open her up. Got our gravy. And I didn't forget the gravy. Oh, it smells so good. Last meal before the dessert and off to our left there is the orange Julius. And I went with that mango. And over here is our chicken strip, four piece with fries and gravy. First up, show the logo. That is pretty good, people. You can taste a little bit of the slush. Well, there it is. It's kind of melted on the bottom, that's why. I'm like, at first, when I first drew some of the up the straw, it was just like a nice um, nectar. That's what it tasted like, a nice, um, syrupy nectar but then when I took the lid off you can you can see all the crystals of the slushy it just didn't get down or just melted on the bottom a little bit let's draw from the center much colder whoa yeah I, I did the right one man the mango I'm gonna gobble that up no problem get a couple fries mm. fries are phenomenal This is basically my breakfast. Let's take out our gravy. Chicken strips and gravy. Oh yeah. Oh, oh dippity dip dip. Mmm. Crunchy. Hot. Tender and juicy. And my gravy just adds so much more. Yeah, the chicken strips are dynamite. Ooh. Of course, you gotta dip your fries too. Fries and gravy are definitely 
a must. Oh yeah. They have pretty good gravy here. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good breakfast. Can you hear how crunchy that is? Ready? Very crunchy. Love that breading too. It's nice and seasoned. Very, very good. Let's finish this off and go get some dessert. I'd like to try the uh, cinnamon roll center and the pumpkin pie one, please. And what size is it? Uh, small. Small? So it'll be nine. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. I'm not sure if that's whipped cream or... <laughs> What is that? Maybe a uh, marshmallow goo. We'll find out. Last thing of the 24 hour stealth camp. And I really want to try that. You can really smell this pumpkin spice one over this one. You can't smell anything on here, but that one, because they put powder or something on it. Oh, it looks like we got a big chunk of cinnamon bun centers. Hmm. Oh yeah. It's like cookie. It's like cinnamon chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. <clears throat> you can really get that cinnamon in there. It's not bad. Oh wow. It's really got that cinnamon bun flavor to it for sure. Hmm. That is excellent. I love cinnamon buns. How many of you guys have bought that Pillsbury cinnamon thing, uh, cinnamon bun uh, tube that you had to smack, open it up, and you put the cinnamon buns in a circle and one in the middle. And the one in the middle is the one we always fight over because that's the one that's gooey all the way around as opposed to having a little bit of a hard crust all the way around. And let me know in the comments below and let everybody else know if you are the same. So I'm thinking that's a whipped cream. It's gotta be whipped cream, but it's melted really fast, like really fast. Or there's something wrong with the, the whipped cream bag today. All right, check that out. Wow, this pumpkin spice is killer. Okay, chunks of pie. It really tastes like, um, like somebody crushed up a pumpkin pie in here, for sure. It's got the pumpkin pie spice, the pumpkin pie filling flavors. <clears throat> And then it's got the pumpkin pie crust uh, flavors and crunchiness. That one's better for sure. This is good. Putting me in the mood for a fall. I, I want, I'm just curious if you guys have tried these two and if you agree with me that the cinnamon one is better than this one. It's nice to have. Nothing wrong with it, but I love cinnamon buns more than I do pumpkin pie, although I love pumpkin pie once a year. Mm. This one's delicious. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and watching me eat Dairy Queen food for over 24 hours. I am absolutely stuffed. Can't wait to uh, get back into the intermittent fasting and eating uh, proper food at home. And that's how I get away with doing these kinds of videos. And I really, really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me and watching these videos. It makes me want to do more content for you. And don't forget, always leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm always looking for suggestions of other 24 hour stealth camps that I can do near you. Thank you to every single one of you viewers who watch my videos. Thumbs it up, leave a comment. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And of course, all my channel members for all your support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you love these videos and want to show your support for me, doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.